All right. You went home, you're okay. refreshed. Remember last night now? Last night? I mean, how hard can this be, Nikki? Why is my You actually around? wrote it down. Oh, my lyrics don't make any sense. You can barely hear it. If only you owned an amplifier, for example. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't use this one. It, it's... <laughs> it's all soggy. It won't sound right, will it? Oh, for fuck's sake. I want to remember Virgil. I mean, mostly. Oh, this amp just isn't good enough. Imagine having an amplifier as a guitar player. Couldn't be me. Well, apparently it will be. No. He never answered my letters. I need you. Where'd the other one go? There was another. Oh, I already knocked her out. Never mind. Okay. Dear Diary, every day I love Nick more. I wish I could go back in time before Nick married his wives and show him that I'm his soulmate. How I'd love to be the first woman to have believed in him. Get them early and they think you love them for themselves. Which I do, of course. I can't help it if I've only known Nick is a rich and famous star. How very dull the hubby seems in comparison. Why did I marry him? I suppose I wanted to be settled. Would I be a terrible wife if I left him to follow my heart's passion? Probably. Surely a proud man wouldn't want to be with a wife who fancies another. I'd be doing him a favor by leaving him for Nick. These girls are insane. They're insane. They're insane. I love you, Nick. Wait. Kitty's diary. Oh, so it's this girl. I'm Nick Nightbearer. I, I mean, Bear Nighter. Oh, may I serve you? What's all this? Oh, I'm Is just that her trying husband? to find mate. <laughs> Needed that bad deal? And mine's the only music store in town. Hard luck. I bet he found it. Why her. do you hate me diary. so much? Uh, yeah, aside good. from the usual. I don't like musicians. I have to go. My missus and her leaders say that you just pretend to be bad, but I says what a man pretends to be is what he is underneath. He really doesn't like us. That's gotta be her husband, right? I think he's calling Nick a murderer. I had another amp. Manager stole it. I shouldn't have to pay for my own drinks. I could steal it That's kind of what I'm thinking. Nick might be the person that I, I'm on the I'm on the Nick is a murderer train. Oh God, I'm afraid. Who's there? That's hallucination. But all right, go off. That's Nick Lightbearer. I mean, either Nick is a murderer or Nick is dead, and this is him in the afterlife learning about how terrible of a person he is. Plausible. I don't know. Nick Lightbearer seems like the type that's like, I could never die. Cool. Enter hotel. His agent's gone missing, so who's going to pay the bill, I ask? The manager says he's going to pinch Nick's amp, hold it hostage. Nick can't play his concert without it. I used to fancy Nick, but now I've seen him up close and... Oh, God, it's on again. Bloody manager probably stashed my amp in his office. What a time to forget about that. I need a disguise. Maybe a Nick lookalike contestant. Wouldn't that just be him dressing like himself? Search the manager's office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's that tune? Couldn't tell you, dude. Oh, a bellboy outfit. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's the ticket. No one ever really notices a bellboy. It's sort of sad, really. You know, to think what life choices led you to that. Hot meat kettle, dude. Ooh, a key. Foggy Jack. Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. To be safe, I'd better get the manager out of the way. Maybe I can call him on the PA system. What? 
uh, hygiene, the manager. The manager. Um, we have an emergency. Uh, uh, a fan, 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 fan. He, he's stuck in one of the vans. Your, your fault, really. Um, please get her out at once. One, one. Why is he faking an echo? Oh, that ought to keep him busy for a while. You know, after all this is over, maybe I should become an actor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that the fan that was stuck before? I think so. I love that he actually, like, told him, though. Like, yeah, he used it for his own good, but still. Dear Constable, I write this to you as a man under siege. If any of the crowd of rabid Nick Lightbearer fans should discover these scribblings, I fear that they shall tear me apart, but I can stand this no longer. No man should have to. The hopelessly shredded upholstery, the sink stuffed with brassiers, the quarts of vomit our cleaners had to painstakingly remove from the carpeting, the endless empty pill bottles. And that's just the Wonderland suite. Each year, myself and my poor beleaguered staff are compelled to deal with the reckless and destructive cyclone of hedonic anarchy that is Nick Lightbearer. And each year, right on time, that manager of his pays his bill in full, damage is included, so I have not else to do than grit my teeth. But Lightbearer will slip up, I know it, and when he does, you will hear my call, and it is my dearest hope bring the full weight of the law down upon him. Murray Davies, Avalon Management. Good to know he hates him. Thank you. I'll finally put that Nick Lightbearer in his place. No more yes sir, no sir for me. It'll be him calling me sir if he wants his aunt back. Can't play his concert without it, can he? I know that Bates bloke won't sell him another he hates Nick just as much as I do. Which was the woman's husband, okay. Can't trust my staff not to snitch, though. Too many Nick fans. I'll just keep the amp in my room where no staff's allowed the key. Can't wait to make that dandy eat crow. Thanks, dude. Oh, maybe now not. Boy, oh, shit. You there. Constable <laughs> Turner needs his bag taken to his room. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. Oh, did you hear about the fan stuck in the fence? Um, someone with authority needs to find her, don't you think? Is that a silly Nick Lightbearer moustache you're wearing? Sir? Against regulations. Take it off. I won't have staff acting like that cheeky good-for-nothing. Oh, y yes, sir. Um, as soon as I've taken the constable's bag upstairs, sir. Mm. I don't need to remind you that this is a hotel of discretion. You're not to look inside the constable's bag or remember anything you see in his room. <clears throat> Not to worry, sir. Um, <laughs> I've got a terrible memory. Really, the worst. Turn it. <laughs> Bring the Bobby's bag in their room. Notice to Nick fans, it is strictly forbidden to sneak into Nick's room in a laundry cart. In happier news, Miss Tabitha Sweet is recovering nicely from the bleaching. We all wish her well. <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, Uncle Jack. Boggy Jack got another one. Oh, anyone we know? Some bloke who didn't like Nick. Oh, well, that's all right then. Oh, God. Bring the Bobbies back to their room, okay? Come on now. I didn't mean it. You don't sound nothing like me, Mum. Let me in and I'll make it up to you. Oi, you, you there! Quit skulking and drop that bag in my room! Burns. All right! Oh, I'd like to take a crack at Foggy Jack! I hear he pulls out your guts and stretches them like they're bloody guitar strings. I'm sorry? He does what now? To the constables, could you please give this letter to Foggy Jack when you capture him? It's most urgent that he get it. Thank you, Marianne Dashwood. Dear Starling Foggy, I know they say you're bad, but I think you're just misunderstood. You only do those things because you're sad, but I can make you happy. I do hope the constables take you alive. I shall visit you in prison. You'll see we are soulmates. All of my love, XOXO, Marianne. Marianne crazy. Hmm. Police report, case number 23898, reporting officer PC Shelley. Passersby reported sighted male lying in the arms of a Nick Lightbearer statue, apparently in a drunken stupor. Upon investigation, said male was determined to be slightly deceased and partially dismembered. Fits foggy jack pattern. 
proposed course of action advise caution to avoid alarming populace slightly deceased you're just a little dead just a little bit i don't think it'll kick me out of the room though i think it may give me a little bit more time modeling strings oh they make my guitar better at everything oh look guitar strings he plays their organs like guitar strings isn't that what she said inspect okay well yeah Ooh. So there's a tunnel of love <laughs> connecting this room and the managers, is there? You don't really expect a bottomless pit in a first-class hotel. I mean, perhaps. Like, I don't know, make the room a little shorter or something. This seems excessive, but all right. Like, yeah, let's parkour and, like, risk death to get into the next room. Fine, then. I'm leaving. Yay, pills. Oh, my dry amp! Sound check. Dress on my shoe, caught it. Yeah. The park? I have to go to the park. Why? A massive eardrum piercing charged face melt. Hell yeah. Aw, manager has a little teddy bear. Aww. He's a little bitch. He stole my amp. Hmm. Suppose I'll have to leave through the front of the hotel. Well, that That's it, like you guests. Okay. Search the area for clues. If I vibe, I might find clues. Aha! A guitar pick? Was I? No. It could belong to anyone. It literally says it's his. I'm not feeling so good about this guy right now. Oh, dear. Oh. Am I hearing voices in the fog? In the fog. Do I want to find clues? No, not really. Nick, meet me in the hotel park tonight, V. Ugh. Virgil! Oh my oh. God, That's he's his dead. agent. Oh God, I'm remembering. Oh God, he's remembering. Using fingers to play guitar. What is this? A flamenco game? And yeah, we'll just say it's not realistic. <laughs> Grass on my shoe. Where did, that's his clothing. Well, that's. Not good. Yeah, he killed his agent, I think. 